بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم told us that any innovation in Islam is or any what we call bid'ah. And I know a lot of people when they hear the word bid'ah, they're like, oh my God, here we go again. You know, these Wahhabis, these Salafis, right? But he said that, you know, we, we say when we start the khutbah sometimes, inna astaqil, inna astaqal hadithi kitab Allah, the most truthful speech is the book of Allah, wa khayru hadi, hadi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the best of guidance is the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then we say, wa sharul umuri muhtathatuha. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said this, he, he basically explained this issue. Wa kul muhtathatin bid'a. And every innovation is a, any, any something introduced into the deen, is a bid'ah and innovation. وَكُلُّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَةٍ And every bid'ah or innovation is a misguidance. وَكُلُّ ضَلَالَةٍ فِي النَّارِ And every misguidance is in hellfire. Why? Oh, brother, you're, again, you're starting with this stuff. Subhanallah, you know. Salafis, Wahhabis, misogynist, you know, chauvinist, all this. But I, I just wish that people just listen. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our mistakes and help us to understand. And they said if we just listen, we heard, and we processed, we would not be in hellfire. What is this blue eye that a lot of Muslims use? Lebanon, Jordan, not so much in Jordan, most like in, in Lebanon a lot, Turkey. In Europe as well, this blue, nice looking, right? It's like an eye. And a lot of people put it in their house and they think it's like toward of hasad, evil. Their intention is to, they're scared of evil, toward of hasad and ayn. The Prophet said, al ayn haq, that evil eyes haq is truthful. But a lot of these people don't understand that this this talismans they, they wear it around their neck. They wear it, you know, bracelets. You'll see it. You can buy it. I'm sure if you visit any of the Mediterranean Muslim countries around that area, anywhere, every bazaar will have it. And what is this thing in the first place? Where one of the professors of arts and history at, at in Istanbul's uh, Bashir University, he said his name is uh, Nese Ildiran. He said the blue color of this, you know, beads relates to the sky god of the Central Asian Seljuk Turks. Goes back to like 3,300 BCE. Okay, has nothing to do with this now, my brothers and sisters. My dear Arabs, my dear, some of, of course, I would be lying. Now, of course, I, I don't want to generalize. I'm talking about the ones who do use this. Uh, from the Turks who use this, from everyone who uses this. They think it's so beautiful, it's nice. Let's hang it in the house by our, the store. You walk into stores, you know, people put this stuff. No, this is incorrect. This could qualify as shirk because you, I'll tell you why. If you do it out of ignorance, that's a different story, right? However, you're still responsible to know. And this video will make you responsible to know many fatawas by the way this is not the first there's so many scholars have talked about this. there are so many fatawas but someone asked me they said because they see it in some of the accounts the name you know the username and then they put this little eye i think they have like an emoji now with this with this so-called blue eye or the you know eye and they also have what they call the khamsa the you know the five like it's like, like a hand kind of like that right that's another one and I think it has the eye in it as well. These symbols are shirk. Now, of course, people are ignorant, so they don't know that it's 3,300 BC and that it's to the sky god and all that. They don't know, so we have to educate them. But in itself, when you believe that this thing protects you, even if, let's say, you don't know its origins, but you know your aqidah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout the Quran says that nothing can benefit you or harm you except from Allah or except by the will of Allah. This can qualify as shirk. You have to understand. Oh, here we go again. Shirk. Everything is shirk. Everything is shirk. It's not everything is shirk. Actually, not everything is shirk. <laughs> not everything is shirk. Tawheed is not shirk. 
La ilaha illallah is not shirk. A'udhu billah. That's why we say, La ilaha illallah. It starts with that negation. You understand? La ilaha. There's no deity. It negates every single thing. Illallah. Except Allah. Who is Allah? Well, throughout the Quran, we know the asma wa sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That description is very clear. Lahu al-asma wa husna To him belongs the most beautiful names and attributes. So, this ayn, this khamsa, all this can, can be shirk. Because you believe this will protect you. If people see it when they walk into your shop or your house or your car, that it's going to stop their ayn or their hasad when they look at something nice. You have a nice car, a nice shop, is doing great in business. And people start believing that. Oh, I need to get one of those eyes so people don't give me hasad or ayn. So my business can do well. Or so my family can thrive. No, this is ignorance. So, Brothers and sisters who use this emoji for the eye, remove it. And look inside and think and say, you know, stuff for lying. I didn't know. May Allah forgive me. It was just out of ignorance. So it doesn't, you know, inshallah doesn't count the shit. But if we don't stop, if we don't learn, if we don't, we're still going to be held accountable. You, a lot of people do shirk and they don't even know. Is it enough to just be ignorant? Well, a lot of the scholars said no. No. Not when it comes to this. People go to the graves. They see that we believe in Allah, we worship Allah alone. But then they take the baruch and they do all kinds of stuff at the grave, making sujood. And we're like, on the day of judgment, you can say, well, I didn't know Allah. But the Quran is telling you, <laughs> of course you don't have any excuse. What I'm trying to say though, by not knowing, is that people are ignorant. So, yani, let's, when we educate them and when we tell them about this, right? Yani, do they really have to like take their shahada again or they're not Muslim? Yeah, make tawbah. Make istighfar, may Allah forgive you. You're saying your shahada anyway in every salah, right? Inshallah. But don't take this as something easy. Okay, this is not a joke. Please, this is no joke. This is no culture. No one change that. Oh, it's our culture. Who are you? You, you know, you, who do you think? It's not me. Look at all the fatahs. Look at all the ulama. Ask any alim. Any alim. Any learned person. Ask him. Ask the kibar ulama. Ask the fatwa from your country, from the learned people who have studied. Say, is this permissible? Is this from Islam? Is this from the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, Ali? Did they use this? Is there any evidence? Ask. If you do not believe me, just ask, ask. The Prophet ﷺ told us, learn, seek. You're gonna, if not, you, you're going to lose yourself. So there's no excuse. On the Day of Judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will, will question us. Allah will, you know, subhanAllah, will, will account us for this. So please, let us get rid of this blue thing. Let us get, let's have a campaign, an a internet-wide campaign. Spread this video like fire, inshallah, bi ta'ala. Okay, maybe that's not a good uh, saying. I take that back. Spread this video like yani, blessings, inshallah, like barakah, inshallah, bi ta'ala. Sometimes, subhanAllah, you say the wrong, uh, <laughs> you know, the wrong statement. Astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive us, right? Spread this video, bi ta'ala, with the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to, just to educate the people. Let it be like everyone, inshallah, we all get uh, the ajr for teaching people beneficial knowledge inshallah to change something that is very dangerous that could possibly harm you on the day of judgment very much likely right and maybe ignorance is not going to be an excuse all right so please it's very very it's a very very important issue it is a very very urgent issue it is not something to play with you're talking about your deen you might lose your iman from just believing that this blue thing and trust me some scholars will tell you i'm just i'm not a you know i'm just trying to educate some scholars will tell you losing your iman you've committed shirk so i'm telling you what they're saying all right personally you know i, I believe that is shirk may allah swt guide us to tawheed we do not need any amulets no talismans no nothing if you study the usul of our aqidah, you'll find that this is unacceptable in Islam. The problem is that people are not studying. So brothers and sisters, please spread this video and educate. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.